Yes, this is um, a kitchen demonstration. The whole idea is it's trying to show um, the technologies that could play a part in using energy more efficiently um, in the world. Um, like many countries, the UK is trying to find ways of using energy more efficiently. And this is based around devices like washing machines, refrigerators, communicating with each other and communicating with the metering source. So, for example, um, if, if the devices can communicate with each other, if I were to turn on my kettle in the house to make a cup of tea or coffee, you can have a user interface that shows the homeowner how much power they're using. So here you can see that the kettle um, is using a lot of power. It would enable you to see that... So, actually, when the green goes up, it looks like the That's power because the is kettle is off. Yes. yes. So the kettle is using actually If I turn it off, power. it goes away. So, my understanding is when you have this running, so, for example, obviously, this wash machine uses more energy well, let me show than you the that. kettle. And um, most energy companies will sell you energy quite expensive during the day when there's high demand. And then at night time, they still like to keep the power stations running, so they'll sell it cheap. Right. And that's the time to use it, so the more things you can run through the night, the better. And they encourage people to do that by selling it cheap. So, so it intelligently knows what's being run and turns out the most expensive. So, no, what it does is, on your washing machine, you would say, I'm prepared to pay a medium amount for my power on my washing machine. Prepared to pay. I'm prepared to pay. Brilliant. All right, let's, let's say I want a, a really low price for my power. Okay. I then turn on my washing machine. It knows, because of the intelligent metering, that it's too expensive during the middle of the day. So it waits until, in this instance, probably well after midnight before the tariff gets low enough that the washing machine, and the washing machine says, yeah, that's cheap enough for me, and it decides to turn itself off. Now, is this something that um, English consumers today can implement into their kitchens? And so how, is, how expensive is it? The technology does technology, it can be done, but no one does it, because none of the appliance manufacturers have agreed standards with which to work. Um, and the lack, of the, standard, the lack of the standard, the companies don't want to go and develop their own system in case it's defunct in a year. So what we've done is produced something called the Universal Metering Interface. And what this is, is a communications standard um, that enables mm -hmm. the uh, people to install communications devices with appliances within their meter um, that will work across the board. Okay. And we've done this. Is this an interim solution? This, this is a starting point. This would work in 80% of cases. <laughs> so we've done this in collaboration with one of Europe's, there are only three big metering manufacturers. We've done this in collaboration with one of them. And that metering company is happy for this to go open standard to encourage other companies to work to this. And that means that people like Zanussi or Hotpoint, whoever it is, can have the confidence to say, well, if we work to that standard, others might do it as well. So in some ways, it's about getting there first and making it open. And if you do that, you encourage people to use it. Last question. Um, how much, uh, on average, would you anticipate the average English household That's I'm afraid I have an answer to. My okay. colleague may have, but I haven't. That's an okay. That. That's Sorry. okay. A little early on to probably determine. Well, no, I'm, I'm sure he, he, okay. he does know, we'll but I just don't personally know. We'll get those stats and we'll follow up. Um, one additional part of this demo, incidentally, um, which is another use of intelligent, intelligent use of power, is if, um, if, for example, I'm running my washing machine during the day when power is expensive. Um, on the national grid in the UK and in many countries, they have power stations on standby for busy periods, mm -hmm. say half, half time during the ball game. So if, for example, you turn on the kettle to make a cup of tea, just turn that on. I'll turn that on. If your devices can communicate with each other, then the washing machine turns itself off because the kettle is using the power. That means you don't have to turn on a power station. The refrigerator mm -hmm. pump doesn't start up. This is brilliant. So this is other appliances brilliant. around the house and will shut down in an order hierarchy so while the kettle boils. You turn the kettle off, the washing machine knows it's okay to come on again. The fridge can come on and, and appliances don't need to run. Because one of the killers is you put your kettle on, the washing machine and the fridge coincidentally are on at the same time. You draw huge amounts of power. Okay, so we're going to have to close down. So thanks very much. You're for, most welcome. Thanks for joining us. That's okay. okay thank you.